So you want to learn Portuguese, but you're not yet in Portugal to practice. It might seem like an uphill battle, but there are so many ways that you can immerse yourself in European Portuguese so that you can train your listening, your reading, and even your speaking, whether you are a beginner or an improver. And I know that these work because they are tried and tested by my very own students. So no more excuses, let's dive into today's topic, four ways to learn Portuguese outside of Portugal. If you are new to the channel, seja bem-vindo. My name is Liz and I created this channel, Talk the Streets, to help you build your confidence and conversation skills in Portuguese. I've been doing it for the last two years. Time flies. And these two years have been absolutely pivotal in terms of more content coming online to help you with Portuguese from Portugal. I like to think I had something to do with it, but I think it's probably more pandemic related. So I'm excited to share some of my favorites today, some old, some completely brand new, and I'm even sharing some savings and discounts for you, my amazing community. So let's start with TV. Until very recently, the places that we would usually go to find TV content were not streaming anything from Portugal, but that has now all changed. Hooray! Netflix produced its first Portuguese language show, Gloria, which was released late last year. We actually did two videos about that, which you can check out. They'll be linked in the description. But if you are not a fan of dark and gory, violent dramas, then I've got good news. Another title has been added that's in Portuguese and is also accessible from the US. It's called Until Life Do Us Part or Até Que A Vida Nos Separe. And it is a warm-hearted comedy about three generations of the same family running a wedding planning business, which is much more my cup of tea. My students have been streaming it and loving it, and we may even do a video that talks you through some of the key phrases that that show teaches you in the first episode. Comment below if you want to see that. I'm also linking below a list of animated series that are dubbed in European Portuguese on Netflix. Kids shows are a great place to start because they are more simple and easy to follow. If you have a Disney Plus subscription as well, this is also a really great place to go. Why not visit some of your old classic favourite shows and movies from when you were a kid? Because knowing the storyline, and if you're like me, knowing every song lyric and every joke in it as well, is really going to help you with your comprehension because you're not having to do two things at the same time. You already know what's happening and you're simply listening to it in Portuguese. Amazon has also added several titles. The brand new drama Operação Mare Negra is also live now, as well as some older programmas like Chegar a Casa, A Crónica dos Bons Malandros and Bem Bom. But I think you do need to be in Portugal to access those, but they may be accessible with a VPN. If full TV shows are a little bit beyond your comprehension at the moment, then do not worry, I have the perfect solution. Meet LingoPie, a brand new app that is helping you learn a language through TV shows, and it's particularly good if you are a beginner. Let's take a look. So here is what LingoPie looks like when you are logged in. So the only thing at the moment is you can't filter for Portuguese from Portugal content yet, um, but we have asked them for that feature. So hopefully that's something they are going to be adding soon. So right now you'll just go to the option that says PT, which does have the Brazilian flag, but it will tell you in the top left-hand corner where the uh, piece of content is from, okay? So they've actually organized um, a playlist down here, which which is uh, the best of Portugal. Here we go, the finest from Portugal. So you know that these ones are all going to be Portuguese. Now, this is really cool. So let's take a look at um, Ultima Schmada. Honestly, I've never been so invested in the relationship between a cat and a dog before. Let's check it out. E o Pedro? Mudou-se para Milão contigo? Sapato, senhor. Mas qual Pedro? O Pedro Lobo? Ai, eu já não estou com o Pedro desde... desde que nos conhecemos. So as you can see, we have got both sets of subtitles on the screen. We've got the Portuguese and then we also have the English. And over here on the right hand side, it's actually picking out different words for me that I can click Pá. on and it will give me an explanation as to what that means. So you can actually save these into sets so that you can be um, increasing your vocabulary as you are watching. If we click over here on settings, we also have some more options. I can do an automatic pause. Um, so at the end of each sentence, it will pause for me so that I can see exactly what's been said. Um, also, 
if I click here, um, it will give me some keyboard shortcuts so I can do various things. So I can go back, I can go to the next one, I can actually speed it up and slow it down, and I can also turn on and off the English and the Portuguese. So I've got loads of functionality here to actually help me while I am learning. Up here, it's actually going to show me how much time I've been spending watching, how many new words I have learned. So if I click here, these are the ones that I have kind of saved from that one that I was just watching. And then it will even give me the sentence that I saw this word in. So I can actually really learn these words in context. It is so cool. There are so many different things that you can do. There are already 32 shows in European Portuguese on the platform, adding up to 16 hours of content and new shows are being added all the time. For a big discount on the annual subscription to LingoPie, working out at just $50 for the year, then you can use the link that is in my description. You can even trial the platform for seven days for free, but I think you're going to love it. So what about music? I did do a whole video on this um, a little while ago, but this remains a firm favorite among my students, particularly those who are just getting started. So let me show you Lyrics Training, the perfect platform to help you with your pronunciation in Portuguese and also your listening comprehension as well. So it's simply uh, lyricstraining.com. Uh, and then up here, as you can see, oh, accept the, <laughs> the cookies policy. Uh, up here, as you can see, I can choose European Portuguese. Hooray. You're always thinking that there's never any European content to learn from, but here we have it, okay? So what this app does is it pulls in from YouTube all these different songs, okay? And you can see here, I've got a Brazilian flag here, um, a Portuguese flag here. So I know that I can choose Portuguese songs to learn from, all right? And then what's going to happen is I could click on one here. Now, when you get a little bit more advanced, you can play this game with filling the gaps, all right? You would click beginner and you'd have to fill in the gaps of the lyrics. However, for now, I suggest you go down here and you click on karaoke, okay? So what's going to happen is you're going to press play and then, yep, yeah, you guessed it, the uh, lyrics are going to come up here as if it was a karaoke machine. So there's so many different songs that you can choose from. You can definitely find something that is going to be um, to your liking, whether you like more ballads, whether you like something funky like me, <laughs> um, you'll be able to find that here. OK, and then also if you know um, people that you like, um, you could also search for them as well. So, for example, if I looked up uh, David Carreira, you know that I enjoy him, <laughs> you'll be able to find his music here. Did you know that you can also access Portuguese radio online? You can visit a site like mytuneradio.com and type in Portugal and it will give you all of the Portuguese radio stations that you can listen to. You can even try to listen to one that's in a region that you want to get familiar with so you can get familiar with the accent from that particular region as well. Listening to people talking on the radio is probably the closest you can get to immersion outside of Portugal, but this is going to be something for people who are at a more improver or advanced level because you don't have context when you're simply listening to the radio. So listening long form might be a challenge in the beginning, but you know, make it fun for yourself. Why not repeat some of the phrases that you hear or the words that you hear and try and really imitate the accent that these people on the radio have because they usually speak very clearly. So what about apps that are going to help you with your grammar and your sentence structure when you are learning Portuguese? Well, I did a whole video on this um, over here. I will link that in the description. Make sure you check out the full video. But for now, I'm going to shout out my favourite approach, which is flashcards. There are several apps that allow you to learn with flashcards and something like Quizlet will actually allow you to build your own. So if you are studying something in particular, whether that's verb conjugations or vocabulary, that relates to a specific topic, you could make your own flashcards, record the audio and also allow you to play some games like matching up 
or filling in the blanks to help test you on this, uh, whatever it is that you are learning. I have 100 frequent words in a flashcard set from Quizlet that you can download in the description if that's gonna be helpful for you. So the best ready-made flashcards that I always recommend to everybody come from Deckmill. There are 3,000 flashcards, but they are all really useful, practical situations that you would actually use in day-to-day -day life. They are sorted into beginner, intermediate and advanced, so there really is something for everyone. I walk through exactly how to use them in this video over here, so make sure that you check that out. And if you want to get these flashcards for yourself, use my code LIZ30 at the checkout to get all 3000 flashcards for just 10 euros 49. I also wanna give a shout out to the website Konjugemosh that not only has a flashcard option and vocabulary lists, but it can also give you fun games like word searches and battleship to test you on whatever it is that you are learning. This is particularly good for making revising verb conjugations really fun. It gets addictive very quickly, and if you are learning as a family, you can even play against each other. So my students absolutely love this, and I highly recommend checking that website out. No language study is complete without speaking practice, of course, and although this is hard outside of Portugal, it's not impossible, okay? So I did do this video here, which really breaks down everything that I recommend when looking for and arranging sessions with a language learning partner. That is somebody who is a native speaker of the language that you are learning, in this case, Portuguese. But don't put so much pressure on yourself to make this really serious. Get creative with it, treat it as fun, and treat it like just making new friends from the culture that you're going to experience. Why not visit a forum of people learning your native language and ask if there are any Portuguese speakers there that you could help? Why not hunt out cafes, restaurants, and markets where the Portuguese community are congregating in your local area. You don't have to limit yourself to speaking sessions either. You can exchange voice notes over social media or even be a pen pal or an e-pal, I suppose it's called these days, by signing up to a website like mylanguageexchange.com. I could go on for hours, but these are just a few of my favorite ways to practice your Portuguese outside of Portugal, so I hope it has inspired you to get stuck in. If you have other tips that people outside of Portugal would find helpful, why not put them in the comments so we can continue learning from each other. I'll be back next week with more tips and tutorials to improve your European Portuguese, so make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss a thing. Ciao for now, Pessoal. Beijinhos.